Well, good morning. It is Tuesday morning and uh, yeah, we are talking about your truth, my truth, God's truth. Yeah. So so we we looking at truth. We 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 finding this this aspect of truth of truth how we need to live in accordance to the truth of God. Now, this is what I want to say this morning. The front page that does not always reveal the truth. <laughs> I trust you heard that. The front page does not always reveal the truth. You see, man has this nature to judge people by just reading the headlines on the front pages of the newspaper or what they overheard in a conversation. We are quickly to jump in and judge people, but we do not know all the facts. Not so. We can look at a person's lifestyle and we judge them by possibly the car they drive or the clothes they wear. Not so. <laughs> but, but again, we come to this of knowing that there is my truth, there is your truth, and most of all, there is God's truth. Now, listen to what Ecclesiastes 12 verse 14 says. It says this, God will judge us for everything we do. Wow, remember this? We spoke about that yesterday, that God sees everything good and evil. And now Ecclesiastes comes and says that God will judge us on everything that we do, including every secret thing, whether good or bad. Woo. So, so again, we will stand before God one day. And, and this is what I said yesterday. I want to say it again, that when you stand before God, will you be covered by the blood of Jesus? Because again, we understand that Jesus came to this, the world, to die for you and I, <laughs> to give us life and to give it more abundantly. And so we need his covering. We need the blood of Jesus to cover us, which washes away from us all the sin that we have gathered over life. But when we come to this, the acceptance of Jesus Christ, you know what? That will not stand before the Father because it's dealt with. Now, um, we, uh, growing up, we, we, we used to listen as a, as a small kid. I used to listen to the program with my dad called uh, Mark Saxon, uh, No Place to Hide. That was the, 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 the show on or the radio program. Now, uh, again, we know that Mark uh, Saxon was uh, uh, a great detective and no baddie could hide from him. He would get his man at the end of of the day and and again you know we will see this that we all will stand before God now again I'm coming back to that and to say it here that we all stand before God note all will stand before him those who do believe and those who do not believe the truth we will stand before him that's the truth so we're all going to stand before God one day and we're going to be judged in accordance to the life that we've lived. Do we live our life in Christ or do we live our life outside of Christ? Do we put Christ first in all that we do? Again, there is no place to hide. Let me tell you, we cannot hide from God. We cannot hide our secrets. Sometimes people think that they can hide their secret. You know, uh, growing up as well, I started smoking as a young boy and I, th I thought I could hide it from my parents. But you know, they knew exactly what was happening. They were blind to what was taking place. And so, again, this is the things that we do. We kind of do it in secret. We think we can do things behind uh, the veil, as it were, and God will not know. No, God knows everything. Remember this. This is what Ecclesiastes 12 verse uh, 14 says. God will judge us by everything we do, including every secret thing, whether good or bad, God sees us. You see, we will all stand before God. None of us will be exempt from standing before God. So many times people think, well, living a good life is enough. No, it's not enough. You see, it's good to live a good life, but you can only live a good life in and through Christ Jesus, knowing that when you stand before God one day, you will not be judged for the sin that you have committed because he dealt with your sin. You see, in a day filled with unknown knowns, it is vital that we trust and follow the one who knows everything, God. <laughs> so, so this is it. I, I come to God and I find my truth in God. And now I embrace God's truth. And now I desire to live in accordance to the truth 
of God's word in 1 john 3 20 says even if we feel guilty god is greater than our feelings and he knows everything so why not come and put our faith and our trust in god for god is truth and we need to live in accordance to the truth of god's word are you living in accordance to the truth of god's words or are you living in accordance to your own truth that what you know come on I want you to find God's truth this morning. And the truth of God is this, that we need to accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of our lives. So come on, let's embrace him, knowing this, that when we do embrace him, that all we have committed, all sin that we have committed through our life is dealt with when we accept him as Lord and Savior of our lives. Mm -hmm.